What's up guys, welcome back to One Life. You join me today from the inside of the Fiat Grande Punto for another not so short tutorial this time. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove and replace the clutch master cylinder. Now this is not the easiest of jobs, but it's not hard either, it's fiddly more than anything, as the main master cylinder is behind the clutch pedal, so it involves a lot of sort of lying on your back and fiddling with things. For this job, you won't need many tools, you'll need a socket set and a few screwdrivers, and that's probably about it there's not many tools involved you need access to the driver's footwell and access behind the bonnet one thing i will recommend and i'll mention this again when we start properly is taking the front seat out to get, get yourself a bit more space so you can get on your back and sort of lie in there and work i've done another job another video on the ford fiesta the master cylinder and as you'll see if you take a look at that video it's quite fiddly and hard to get to so taking the driver's seat out is a job worth doing to make your life easier now if you're not sure how to do that i've already made a video on that so if you check your top right corner of your screen now there'll be a link to seat removal video for this car so you can get the seat out give yourself a bit more space but other than that guys let's crack on and get the job done oh yeah one more thing thank you very much to the subscriber who requested this video i hope this helps you get your job done and the same for everyone else if you have a request if you have an idea let me know and i'll try and get it done let's crack on Right guys, first thing we need to do is look at the back of the clutch pedal where the master cylinder is. So I've set up a light here as you can see, just to sort of shine a bit of light upwards because it does get quite dark in this area. So I take the camera up here, show you guys, we've obviously got the clutch pedal here. As you can see, it's a bit stiff because the car's not been used for a while. We've got a spring, that can probably stay on, I'm hoping. And further up, amongst the darkness, is there's the lever, you can see that silver lever just at the top of your screen. That's the bit that goes in and out when you press the pedal. And the black piece of, piece of plastic behind it is the master cylinder. And that lever pushes in when you press the pedal, pushing the fluid towards the slave cylinder to activate the clutch. So, it's quite simple to undo. You've got a bolt there, directly sort of in the middle of your screen now, a small 10 mil bolt and one just above it. Those are the only two bolts holding the master cylinder in place. But you also need to disconnect the, the rod that connects to the pedal, which is further up there. I'll have to adjust the light to show you that. And there's two pipes in the back of it, which the hydraulic fluid uh, sort of feeds and returns through. So that quite, they're quite easy to clip off. I'm going to get to them from the engine side. So I'll show you that first. We'll do that first, disconnect the pipes, and then get back in here and look at undoing, unbolting the master cylinder and pulling it out to show you guys. Right guys, join me from the front of the Fiat. First thing you do is pop your bonnet and then head straight in and to your left hand side. And if you literally come straight down here, sort of above the alternator, the alternator's just there, and it's just sort of above the alternator to the right a bit, and you'll see. All right guys, we have light. So, as you can see down here, the bits I was pointing at earlier, if you can actually see it past all the pipes. There we go, it's a nice clear view. So, here, as you can see there, I've just clipped that clip down. So uh, before I mentioned about flicking it up, yeah, it's actually underneath on this one. So if you get your flat screwdriver underneath the pipe, find the clip and it'll pull out just like that one there. This top pipe, I've left in at that end and brought it back, pulled it off this clip here, that one there, and then just pulled it out of the reserver. The reservoir <laughs> uh, this end so that's loose the clips down on that pipe as you can just about see through there i'm trying to get the camera through all the different hoses and pipes and now with a lot of persuasion it will come off now this is going to be stiff guys it's not going to be easy especially if it's never been off before i'm going to pop the clip all the way off on mine but you could not do that as you can see there i've just put a put a knife in to finish it off and that's your little circlip that holds that pipe in keep that safe and now it's just a case of a bit of persuasion and as you can see without too much fighting the clip the pipes out so that's both hydraulic pipes now disconnected to the back of the master cylinder next thing we're going to do is go back around the front the bit i showed you earlier I'm going to undo the two 10 mil bolts, undo the clip that connects the lever to the clutch pedal itself, and the master cylinder should simply pull out from inside the car. It won't come through this way, it'll come, go back in your footwell. So let's get back inside the car and finish this off, guys. 
Right guys, so as mentioned earlier, we have the master cylinder itself, you can just see the two silver bolts holding it in, the silver rod coming out of the master cylinder leading up to this bit here. See the little clip there, just near my finger? You literally need to stick a flat screwdriver in that and prise it off and that will release that silver bar from, that, from the clutch pedal. After that, all we need to do then is undo those two bolts, the 13mm by the way, I said they were 10s earlier, they're not, the 13mm bolts, two silver ones at each side. So undo this clip here, sorry about the light, there we go, little, little circle up on the right there, see where the lever connects to the clutch pedal. So that lever will then be free, and you can just undo the two bolts, you can see one of them there at the bottom, there's one just a bit higher up, I don't know if you can see it, it's just there and the whole thing will come out as we've already disconnected the pipes on the back. So I'm literally going to stick a flat screwdriver into that clip and prise it off and then we'll look at undoing the bolt. You see now I've pulled the clip off and there's a little pin that goes through, see how it slid out a bit to the left? So we slide that pin all the way out releasing the actual lever from the clutch pedal. This is the little clip I've just took out. Light's a bit bright I know. So that's a little circle. Keep that safe because that needs to go back on. So, as you can see there, sorry about the bad light, it's hard work under here. So that little, that little uh, pin will slide out. Right, that's just popped out and gone behind the plastic, but it's out anyway, which will release. Right, if you can see there, that's now loose from the pedal. So next thing we want to do is think about, if I pull the pedal back now, it's disconnected it from the pedal completely. That's now loose. So all we need to do now, guys, is undo this bottom silver bolt. There's one just a bit higher up, and the unit will come out, leaving you with an empty space to put your new master cylinder in if you're replacing it. What's up, guys? You join me for the rest of this video from inside my kitchen, as you can probably see. So unfortunately, due to a mixture of torrential weather, and the fact I've lent all my tools out to a friend the other day and I can't get them back in time. I'm going to have to leave the video there. But you're 95% there. Basically, if you're sort of in the middle of it now yourself, all you need to do is undo those two 30mm bolts, get those out, and the unit will be a bit fiddly, but it'll prise out and just come out as one, one sort of plastic piece with that little silver rod sticking out of it. And that'll, that's your full master cylinder part that you'll be replacing if you need a new one. Uh, I'm sorry I've not shown it coming out myself, but I can assure you it's just a case of getting uh, a spanner might work. You'd be better off with a little socket set, a 30mm socket and a ratchet to get to those two bolts, but it will come straight out after those are undone. And then when you put your new one back in, you put your new one back into place where that was, put your two silver bolts back in first, then connect up your little pin through to connect it to the clutch pedal, and then go back under the bonnet and connect those two pipes up that we covered earlier in the video. And that's job done. When you first start the car, you're going to put your foot on the clutch, it's going to go to the floor and you're going to think it's still broke or it's not worked. What we need to do is start your car and literally sit there slowly, not, not dead hard, but slowly pumping the pedal. It's going to take a good five minutes. Last time I did one of these jobs, it took about 10, 20 minutes before the clutch did anything. I just sat there with it running, pumping it in and out. It will get a bit of pressure back. It's only because the pipe's been undone and there's no pressure in the system. So give it time when you put it back, it will work. So I hope this video is useful for the subscriber that requested it. Again, I'm so sorry I've not finished it properly, but I'm sure you've seen enough to know what you're doing by now. Crack on, if you've got any problems or anything, just send us a message and I'll do my best to help. So that's about it from me today. I hope you found this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel and you like what you see or you've got a car you'd like to see tutorials on you know hit that subscribe button and give us a message and I'll do my best to help I always do as for those other requests that I know you sat there waiting I'm on it I've got a list it'll get done the couple of people few people now that have requested the clutch change I will do that it's a big job uh, realistically I'm gonna start in the next week or so but yeah I will get that done for you guys I will get it done so that's about it for me today thanks for watching another one live tutorial until next time peace <laughs>